Here are five reasons why I chose the Trek Marlin 6 as my very first mountain bike slash winter commuting bike. Number one, it comes with hydraulic disc brakes. That's really important to me. I live in the Northwest and I know they have greater stopping power than uh, cable disc brakes, but it's one less thing to fail. I live in a very wet environment for a good part of the year. And uh, with hydraulic, dis hydraulic discs, I don't have to worry about cables deteriorating over the winter and fewer services. Uh, it's, and they provide a lot more stopping power. So number one, hydraulic brakes. Number two, I love that it has internally routed cables. Uh, the frame is brand new for 2019. The Marlins from 2018 did not have internally routed cables. It's a cleaner look. Um, I, I like that it's less cluttered. There's also less to clean because you don't have to clean the cables entirely, just the bits from uh, the, the frame up to the components um, themselves, the, the levers and the controls. So number two, I love that it has uh, internally routed cables. Number three, I love that it has a locking front fork. Yes, I know it's just a Suntour fork. Yes, it's a beginner fork. It even had a label that says not intended for off-road use. Whatever, I'm still gonna take it off-road. I still have already, um, but it has a lockout. I commute to work. It's about a six mile ride. Uh, during the summer, I ride my boosted board a lot. And during the, um, the winter, this is going to be my go-to from this, this season on. And I do have a pretty significant climb. I don't wanna waste a lot of energy bouncing up and down. And it's super nice that I can stop reach down and nearly lock out the fork for a stiffer ride and less waste. Number four, I just really like the look of this bike. A lot of bikes in this price point are fairly cheap looking. Um, and that's not to speak down on the other brands, it's just I didn't want to invest in something, although it was a beginner bike, uh, that I wasn't impressed with the way it looked. So I really like the look of this bike. I think it's tough, even in the red and white colorway, it's a really good looking frame. Uh, it looks probably more aggressive than the geometry is. Um, I know it's not as raked out as a downhill bike and other uh, cross-discipline mountain bikes would be, but I just really like the look of this bike. Riding down the road, um, you see other people, especially here in the Northwest, with bike racks on their bikes, and they'll slow down and give it a look. It's, it's a good looking bike for the price. It doesn't make you feel like you're riding a cheap bike. It's a very nice bicycle. So number four, I love the way this bike looks. Number five, value. I love the value of this bike. I only paid $599 for this bike at a bike shop in Portland. It's a trek. It's set up. I was looking at different bikes uh, at this price point and I could not find anything from any brand with hydraulic discs um, and with internally routed cables and with a locking uh, front suspension, obviously a hardtail, from any other brand. And this is a name brand from Trek already set up. I've bought several road bikes from BikesDirect.com, which is a great site, but those don't even come set up. You have to set it up yourself and do some pretty major tuning on the derailleurs for it to ride the right way. So I just couldn't beat it. $5.99 for a bike that I can upgrade and ride through the winter and take off-road and on uh, backpacking trips with friends down fire roads here in the Oregon and Washington area. Uh, this is a great value for the price. I'm really satisfied that all the things I was looking for on a bike came in under $600. It's incredible. It's number five, the value. I hope you found this video helpful. When I was searching uh, for information on the 2019 uh, Trek Marlin 6s, I couldn't find any videos online other than really quick promotional things uh, on Trek's website, but really nothing on YouTube. So I hope you find this helpful if uh, you're looking for a Trek Marlin yourself or maybe even comparing uh, the trim levels. Of course, this is a 6 uh, for the Marlin. There's one better, the 7. Um, yeah, I hope you find this helpful and I hope you get more active and find a mountain bike that fits your needs. Uh, but man, so far, not even 50 miles into ownership of this bike. I'm, I'm a big fan. Uh, good value, more things to come. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.